nation near Ta'if, this uh, uh, not far from Mecca, speaking about the Sahaba or speaking about the Messenger of Allah, okay, Muhammad. Okay, okay. so this is it goes back to look. So this is another one. There's many, 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 many. Here another one speaking of Abu Bakr and Umar, uh, 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 begging Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which goes in line with our Islamic sources. So this goes in line with Islamic sources. Is the early years of Hijrah. And, and how are they, how are they uh, look, look, this one, uh, the time Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, or just uh, before, uh, during his lifetime or before he, after he died. You know, Abu Bakr is the companion, companion of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. There's another one, here he says, Ashadu an la ilaha illallah. وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله. أبر ويتنس. هي you can see لا إله إلا الله. you know even محمد رسول الله. so this is clearly the time of Abu Bakr and Umar, who they were companions of Rasulullah. literally two years after Rasulullah passed away or something. or just the same time. okay. so this archaeological proves. I don't know by someone who wrote about Prophet Muhammad or someone wrote archaeological. but the proof that Someone is going to be writing about someone that doesn't exist. Also, what he makes it stronger is archaeological. This archaeological backdated the Prophet Muhammad's time. Two, two okay. is enough. So let me, let me say something about that, yeah? Yeah. That's not proof. So where is archaeological proof? Okay, let, let me just, let me say why first. Okay. okay. Yeah? Mm. It, might, it, might, it might be, you know, if you're building evidence to say that, okay, you know, Allah, I mean, Prophet Muhammad, you know, he was a real person. Um, and the you know the culture of Islam is authentic and is all true and just in all of its ways. Again, obviously you need to have as much evidence as you can. I no doubt. Say, no I wouldn't say that's enough for a person who is. No, no, you say exist. You didn't say no, no, no. There's look, Daniel. You have to be honest, brother. There's difference. I'm not saying because it's written in the wall or in the rock. Therefore, Islam is the truth. You said Prophet Muhammad exists. Now you say archaeological. This is called archaeological proofs. They are speaking. They look to the area where Prophet Muhammad lived. Backdated the rocks, goes back to Prophet Muhammad's time, his companions speaking about Muhammad bin Abdullah, the messenger of Allah. That's the one who believe in. I don't believe Muhammad, the son of Michael Jackson. I believe Muhammad bin Abdullah, he's Abdul Abdul Muttalib. So now I'm showing you. Now, if what is the proof? He's a messenger of Allah and okay, Islam is the truth. That's a completely different thing. Yeah. I think that if that proves anything, it proves that a very long time ago, yeah. the, the point where you're showing me that this rock came into being and yeah, something yeah. like this, a very long time ago, mm. Islam had been there because obviously you got people from how, how old is this? Hundreds of thousands. This one, uh, one thousand something. Okay, so over 1,200 years. So over a thousand, thousand, years. So over or a thousand years old. Yeah, So years we know old. that okay, Islam itself was existent over a thousand years ago. Okay. I never said that Islam didn't. So that doesn't disprove what. No, I'm you saying. said to me, prove yeah. to me Muhammad existed archaeologically. So this that is called archaeological proof. That. Okay, what is archaeological proof? Well, it depends on, it depends on the, uh, in the context. You don't say what is archaeological proof. Yeah, what? that's how I got to exactly. Before you tell me your life story, as you always do, Daniel, and we have no problem to listen to your life story, we can have a coffee. Oh, what's the life story? Like, you, uh, like, like, you know, when I say life story, you go off topic. You said to me last week, and it's been recorded, that you said on the camera, yeah. you said, Chemsi, if you show me archaeological proof Muhammad exists, no Muhammad received the revelation. Proof. That's not proof. But that's what you claim that you want the proof for that. Of course, and that's um, uh, unfortunately that's not proof. So what is our, uh, my question let to me, you? Okay, let me, let what me is our archaeological proof? Let okay. Me what I was saying. All right, take the mic. Yeah. Right. <laughs> what I'm trying to say, yeah, is what you showed me right now. Yeah. I'm not disputing that it's archaeological. It's obviously something that is very old. It's over a thousand years, uh, over a thousand years old. Yeah. So it proves to me that Islam. Um, was a religion that had existed for over a thousand years. It doesn't actually prove that it means Islam is the way, it means that um, Allah is the way, it means that I Muhammad agree with actually that. existed. No, you know what I mean? A long time ago, no. people were still saying that he existed. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Where is actual proof of his existence? Not proof that people a long time ago. No, you say archaeological. Archaeological proof. Do you know where is archaeological proof? It's, it's clearly you don't know where is archaeological. Archaeological proof. When you go and you start searching in the rocks, in the wall, like the Egyptian, Egyptians. So you see the writing speaking about the one of the kings. They say, ah, this archaeological proof, they're speaking about some people here. They call it archaeological proof. I agree. That doesn't mean all the time it's true. No doubt. But I'm using your criteria. 
I'm not telling you because when I, when I give da'wah to people, I never say to them the fact that Prophet Muhammad exists because I call you proof that can be utilized as a proof. However, you said to me on the camera, do you remember Jamal? You said to me, you did his work. You said to me, if you prove to me Prophet Muhammad exists with the archaeological proof, then I believe this is what archaeological proof. You go to an area that people claim they live there, you look to the wall, when you see they're speaking about it back there during their lifetime, that's called archaeological proof. I, I just uh, established that to you, say, now you're changing your I life. I mean, you're changing the goalpost. I, I, I agree. Where is it, the goalpost or the post goal? I agree. The goal post. Is, I agree that it's archaeological. The goal post. Yeah. I agree that it's archaeological. But yeah. What I do not agree with, I don't agree that it's archaeological proof, but that Muhammad existed. But I do agree that it's archaeological data. Okay, that is data. It's information about Muhammad. What is archaeological proof? Then you have answered it. The actual existence of Muhammad. Uh, what is archaeological proof? I mean, it's not just about what is archaeological proof. It, that's right, it depends on the context. But if you're saying what is archaeological proof that Muhammad existed, that's a better question. Because now we know that we're looking for very specific things okay. in what is all of the archaeological archeolo data that you've accumulated. That is not archaeological proof of the existence of Prophet Muhammad. No, well, I see what is archaeological proof because you asked for the proof. And this means that over a thousand years ago, people was believing in Prophet Muhammad. <laughs> okay. What well, archaeological proof? Wait, 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 uh, wait! No, no, no! Archaeological proof, according to Daniel, means one thousand years ago someone believed Prophet Muhammad. Is that archaeological proof? I didn't know because I just said to you. That's I'm, ask, well, I'm, ask, I'm you asking. Don't you. Manipulate my Daniel, words. That, okay. I, never said that I don't want to manipulate. I'm going to yeah. ask you again. Yeah. What is archaeological proof, Daniel? You would need to have proof of the existence of Prophet Muhammad. I don't need proof that a thousand years ago somebody believed in Muhammad. Okay, those are two different things. A thousand years ago, somebody believing in Muhammad is, is proof of what? It's proof that a long time ago, over a thousand years ago, people believed in Muhammad. That doesn't prove the existence of him though. Yeah, so you, you need a different type of proof or a different type of evidence, okay, or a different type of data that can now prove not the fact that people believed in him, on him, that he himself is existent. Because a thousand years ago, people can believe in what? The flying spaghetti monster. That doesn't mean no, 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 no. that the flying uh, spaghetti monster existed. No, 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 no. People believed in it. Okay, look, look. Do you understand I, okay. what I'm saying? Okay. Do you know what is archaeological proof? Yeah. Uh, okay. Prophet Muhammad's house in Medina. Right. His mosque. He's a, he's a living example. Okay. That's called proof. Because you cannot say, I want a proof of Prophet Muhammad. You want Prophet Muhammad standing in front of you. I exist 1,000 years ago. <laughs> no one says that. Whether it's archaeological proof okay. written in the walls or, for example, the tools that he used there, or we can give you his mosque. Right. His mosque I'll is there. I'll give, you an in the I'll give you an example. An example. I'm yeah. not saying this, it must be this. I'll give you yeah. an example of when I say proof, yeah? Yeah, archaeological proof. I can say to a person that there was a civilization in Africa known as Egypt where there were pharaohs, um, they had civilization, they had. Uh, they were advanced in mathematics, in linguistics, in, you know, all sciences, agriculture, and so on, yeah? I can say that. That's my statement. That's my claim. I can definitely back my claim and have some... Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I call that claim. One moment. Okay, go on. You, gonna... you have to listen to what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, ha so you know how to answer. Okay. Yeah? So if I, if I make that claim, that's fine. Anybody can make any claim. That's correct. Yeah? But you have to... Prove that your claim is fact. Not so that way it takes away from it being a claim or an opinion, but rather shows it to be evidential as a fact. So if I said that there were pharaohs a long time ago, um, and you know there were civilizations that were advanced. Prove to me pharaoh exists. In, okay, you can go to Egypt today. Yeah. yeah? I was in Egypt last year, in yeah. March. I yeah. was there for myself. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. okay. Yeah. Go on. Now you can see the bodies of pharaohs that existed. Who's, 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 who's that buddy? You can see Top Moses. Who says Top Moses that one? What do you mean? Who said that was Top Moses? Well, the, all the archaeological evidence. Which, where, where, state, where is the archaeological evidence? That is him. Where because, is it? State. State. Okay. State. Another thing. Another thing. Okay, no, no, wait, wait. A lot of things are written. Step by step. Okay. State. No, no. What is the archaeological proof that state? Explain that to us. Right, okay. So, when... I'm, I'm Me personally, I'm just going to put it out there. I don't bloody read uh, Egyptian and all of these sort of things. Yeah, okay? it's a writing, or, so you or, are relying on a writing. Or heretic text. Like, yeah. The same way, I, um, it doesn't mean that Arabic isn't real, just because I can't... No, I understand me, that. Let, let me finish my go point. On, go on, go on, mean, I'm, go the same way, for example, 
it doesn't mean Arabic isn't real. I can't read Arabic. I can't. Yeah, okay. but there are people that read Arabic, and hence why the, the Quran can be translated. Yeah, but it's, Arabic is a, li is a living so language. The same way I'm going to put my my statement out there. I do not read ancient Egyptian or uh, or ancient heretic, okay, what? and what? ancient Greek. No. So I want to say this. I want to say this. There are writings. Like I said, I don't read it personally, but there are writings in stone tablets. In the in pyramids itself yeah. and on papyrus, yeah. um, as well as on the tombs uh, or what you might say the, the sarcophaguses, yeah. okay, of these people. Prophet, the same thing, Prophet Muhammad. Well, so why don't you, you believe that? You haven't shown me that yet. Yeah, you want to come to Medina? <laughs> yeah. Take shahada, visa okay. shahada. Okay. Shahada, you come to Medina. But I'm showing you from Hamidullah, rahimahullah. Yeah. Hamidullah, one of the great scholars of the 20th century, is a Pakistani scholar. A lot of us who don't know him. May Allah have mercy upon him. Check him out. Hamidullah, he died a long time ago. Uh, uh, his name is Hamid Hamidullah, if I remember exactly. And he uh, did a lot of archaeologist way, I mean, uh, uh, get, uh, uh, um, gathering and uh, compiling the archaeological proofs for Prophet Muhammad's existence. Prophet Muhammad's existence, now his mosque. We have a writing about Prophet Muhammad Wasallam. We have manuscripts, uh, 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 a Greek one, Syriac one, uh, Armenian uh, manuscript. Back there, Prophet Muhammad's time, speaking about Prophet Muhammad so and his companions, and when they conquered Persian, you see. So now we have inward, inside sources, in the wall, in the books, in the wall, in the rocks. We have living examples, Prophet Muhammad's offspring. We have non Islamic sources like our Prophet Muhammad that exist. No one has a proof like that. No one has overwhelming proofs that Prophet Muhammad, someone exists like Prophet Muhammad. However, you come to meet him about Pharaoh because you trust what is in the wall. You trust what is written inside, uh, in, in, in the paper. That so and so, okay. he's that's his body. However, when you come to Prophet Muhammad, you start changing it. You see? And now no. we have a Quran, backdated. There was a Quran, backdated Prophet Muhammad's lifetime. Speaking about who? Muhammad and Rasulullah. He's alayhi salatu salam. That's why the historians, one known historians, they say that no doubt Prophet Muhammad existed there. No, no, some jokers, his pro, proper historians, they never debate if Prophet Muhammad exists or not. Right. Except, the, the, I'm not going to say you're one of them, but people who are not well educated, they start saying Prophet Muhammad did not exist. But historians, well gone historians, they never differ. Right. I'm not yeah. saying, okay, I just want to make it clear as well. Yeah. I'm not saying Prophet Muhammad existed. I'm not saying Prophet Muhammad didn't exist, okay? I'm but saying, you're saying, I'm, I'm, give what you proof. I am saying, so that okay. is, like you said, it's on camera. Yeah. yeah. What I'm yeah. saying is this. I am reserving judgment until all the facts come out. I don't feel that there's enough evidence for me at this point to say that Muhammad, uh, Prophet Muhammad was definitely existent, he was real, you know, it was, it's verified, it's confirmed, it's finalized. Yeah, because I, I don't have that. I, I, unfortunately, I don't have that at this moment in time to say, yeah. So what is, you, what is the proof you need? I don't know, I just need more. I can't say what. Yeah, okay, I, I guess you're I can't say exactly what it needs to be, but there just needs okay, to be more. Okay, what is what? I, like I said, I believe you've got data about it. Yeah. I don't have to say. Now, when you were talking about me saying I believe in that there were, that there were pharaohs and yeah. stuff, I don't have to. Don't take my word for it. I don't have to say that. I'm not saying Egyptians the word, but you believe. I don't have to say Egyptians You accept they exist. You accept they go exist. Go to Egypt and you'll see. Go to Medina. You'll, you'll see the bodies, the burial sites, go all of these people that are buried. Say if you go to Medina, the Mecca. I don't need to say that the pyramids existed. The pyramids, I was standing on them. Do you understand what I'm saying? I don't say, bro, listen. So, he's not listening, bro. <laughs> Daniel, the same logic. Same logic. Sorry, Prophet Muhammad's mosque. Prophet Muhammad's mosque. Called Al Majid al Nabawi. A prophet's mosque. Okay? It's not, a, it's not a, someone else. Exists, still alive. Okay? That's his house. Likewise, his house existed. We have his house, yeah? We have people writing about him on the wall, okay? We have his grave. We have his offspring, his family, Al Ashraf. His grave? Yeah, his grave in Medina, yeah? Okay. Yeah, we have his family, okay? And how do they know it's his grave? The because, same way you asked me. I'm no, ask uh, no, no, yeah. no problem at all. Right. Because now, the way to know something is not conditional. You have to observe it. You can know it by other narrations. So there's thousands of narrations coming through that was the Prophet Muhammad's grave and no one have opposed it historically speaking. Okay, so you're saying that what people verify that verify and not only people trust where the truth is honest. And it's called you know what it's called? It's called universal knowledge. You know it's universal okay. knowledge? Where is Ghana? Africa okay. Okay, prove to me Ghana is in Africa. I know your point. You're basically saying I don't have to do that. It's universal knowledge. Because why? It's coming from different uh, routes of transmissions. Understand? Not just one or two, thousands. Understand? So 
uh, uh, what I'm saying to you, Daniel, to make it clear, yeah? I came to you because you told me last week, show me archaeological proof Prophet Muhammad existed. But I just want to make this clear. I didn't say last week, I'm going to wait till next week and I'm converting to Islam. I never said that though. You said, as soon as you bring it. Yeah? You, said, you said, if he brings archaeological evidence, you will yeah. accept Islam. If he brings enough, but I, that's not enough. You didn't say enough. No, no, no. no. You didn't say enough. I didn't say enough. I bring more. Like, no, let me, let me, I, I stopped here. Yeah. Let me bring you're more. You're misquoting me yet. Yeah, I'm not misquoting you. Just suit what you want well, uh, to uh, uh, have said. But no, that's not on camera. Of course, it's on camera, and I stand by that, and I live by yeah, that. Yeah, it wasn't, yeah? it wasn't, it wasn't. But what I didn't say, I didn't say, come with anything next week, yeah. I don't mind what it is. I'm going to come back to Islam. It didn't work like that. But Sorry, I could you could this, I'd be this. a fool to do that. Oh, listen, you listen. Do that. Huh? You said archaeological evidence. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, and he gave you archaeological evidence. He gave me, okay, he gave me one thing here. No, 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 I'll give you three, I'll give you more. It weren't enough. It's, yeah. it's still not, it's yeah. still not enough. You know, we'll lie, yeah. I just, I just told you already. That is, it's certainly data. It is certainly data that's, that has been collated for making the case or for supporting the claim that somebody called Prophet Muhammad lived and, you know, and there were people, he had, a, a, you know, he had followers or people that believed on him, etc. Okay? There's no, 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 there's, 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 there's many, case, many, 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 yeah? But it's still not enough evidence to say that he himself actually did exist. It's still not enough. Like, I gave you a reference to that already. I said, you know, anybody no, 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 a thousand no, 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 years ago... There's coins, there's coins as well. Coins. What more what? evidence of one, brother? Coins. Uh? What more evidence of one? He just wants more archaeological I don't, I don't, I'm There not, is, I'll show you, there's more. Know, there's more. What he's not, he's not. No, no. What he presented, but what he presented weren't enough. Yeah. So I'm saying, if that's not enough, and you require more, right. what more do you require? More archaeological? Because I can bring more archaeological proofs. Well, I need a lot more, yeah. <laughs> like, lot, lot, how much? Uh, thousands? <laughs> Maybe not thousands, but... Yeah, how much? Five. I can't, I can't give enough. Five. But, it's just, Brother, but what you presented today was not enough. There, there's, there, I'll show you. The premise of the question is disingenuous. Because yes. if you now go and look at, for example, Socrates, Plato, tell me that they actually existed. You believe in them, you read their books in universities, in schools, archaeology. When you ask that question, it's impossible to prove it like that. One way you can find proof is through testimony. People around... No, 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 actually you can. No, no. Well, no I, I, I'm, I'm just saying. Okay, just go on, go on. Okay, sorry. That, that you can still prove it because... Why? Without archaeological, yes, yes, I agree. 100%, yes. Years on, nobody... Yeah is standing here saying so that he didn't, didn't exist. exist. Yeah. Would you need another 1400 years to prove archaeological? People, you can't. Do, people do say that though. No, no, I'm saying yeah. they do. But 1400 years on, you're the f this is the first time I'm hearing this question. Mm. So many evidences that Brother Shams is presenting to you. It may not be archaeological. Can you still not come to the truth though? Okay. Of course you can. Let me answer to you anyway. Yeah. yeah? Um, Good point. Yeah. What you're saying about uh, Socrates and uh, you know other people. Anybody, 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 yeah. Yeah. anybody yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good point. It is. Um, but even that itself, yeah. I mean, you're basically in other words, okay, so I'm not actually misquoting you, but in other words, you're basically saying because it's verified by a lot of people, it would necessarily, it would have to be true. No, not that, just I don't, not I don't think people. that's the case. It's there's not people. Okay, look, there's look. People, look. One minute. Okay, let me finish. Yeah, one second. Bigfoot. Yeah, the Terry. Beastly monster yeah. would walk around and whatever. Many people say that. In America, there's loads of people that would say, yeah, it's true, you know, yeah. I've seen, you know, there were some pictures, or you, you can't make out thoroughly that it's him, but there's people that say the Loch Ness monster, you know, the Loch Ness monster is a real thing. But it's an unusual thing. As well. No, you're talking about unusual. Many no. Statements. You're <laughs> right. you know what you're saying? You're going to have no, no, no. That are you're 100% right. Listen, hold on, let me just finish my point. People yeah. can make statements that are backed by the hundreds, yeah. backed by the thousands. <laughs> it doesn't necessarily verify <laughs> Actually, no, no, no. there's a wrong analogy. That, that, yeah? that is a wrong, Daniel. Daniel, that's a wrong. You know what needs to happen? You need to define what evidence. No, okay, sorry, yeah, before we go there, yeah. that's a wrong analogy because you're talking about a weird creature trying to compare it to Prophet Muhammad or any human being existing. Yeah, firstly, we have shown you archaeological proof. I'm showing you that there's a manuscript, you can check it. It was written by a non Muslim historian called, uh, what's his name, from America called How Others, How uh, Islam, How Others Saw It. He brings Syriac manuscripts, uh, Ar Armenian manuscripts, uh, um, Coptic manuscripts. <coughs> he goes back to Prophet Muhammad's time, speaking about Prophet Muhammad وسلم, in his time. Likewise, the, the Byzantine, yeah? So now you have archaeological proof, you have the, the, the manuscripts from non-Muslim historians, you have manuscripts from Islamic historians, you have the, the, the house of Prophet Muhammad, the mosque of Prophet Muhammad, you have his offspring. If that is not enough for you, then don't believe in Pharaoh. Don't believe no one exists 1,000 years ago. No one, because no one you can show me, show me the offspring of Pharaoh. Are you the offspring of Pharaoh? Pharaoh? 
Well, I mean, if you, like I said, if you go to Egypt, you know, they, they've got the whole chronology of who ruled, what times they ruled. They I'm asking like, you, are you the offspring of Pharaoh? Probably not. <laughs> you know what I mean? No one claimed that because why? We know that after Pharaoh, people mixed up, the people don't hold their lineage. No, like the Arabs. The Arabs were known for centuries. Me, myself, I can go back to my eight forefather by name, one by one. And this from our culture, every two person from the family, they have to memorize the lineage. We have to memorize it. Prophet Muhammad's lifetime, likewise, all of that. I'm from the Al Bayt, you know, from the Ashraf. Not just me, there's many families in Pakistan. Yes, some they lie, but there's a way to know who are, who are not. You understand? My point here is, like brother said, Aristotle, Plato, I said the atheist, that's why before that, I say, any historians who are well-grounded historians, they will never debate if Prophet Muhammad exists or not. All of them agreed Prophet Muhammad exists. Those who speak about if Prophet Muhammad exists or not, people that speak in speakers' corner or outside the street. That is not, this is not a discussion that you have in, in universities. It will be, they will be laughing at you. Because if you say Prophet Muhammad exists, there is no one has overwhelming proof that exists like Prophet Muhammad. Then be consistent. Did the Plato exist? Did uh, uh, Aristotle exist? Bear in mind, Plato, Aristotle's works, don't go back to them. That, those manuscripts is not, doesn't go back to their lifetime. You see, it was written by people who came after them. You understand? But yet we say, except. Why? Because there's something called Al Ilm al Daruri, <coughs> knowledge of necessity. Knowledge of necessity, there's individuals in history, history we know they existed. <coughs> because no way, <coughs> no way, group of people from different parts of the world, thousands, they will come, they, even though they know each other, they don't know each other, they will make up a story about someone. <coughs> and drink water. Take some water. Take some water. What's wrong with you? They, they, they will hear. They're so I do that. Take your time, and you know. I know, it's not about taking your time. Maybe I'll die quick. So, uh, <coughs> you're not gonna die. so brother, I mean, Daniel, will I, you, are, you are being dishonest now. I know, no, I'm not dishonest. But I, I think it's not uh, COVID-19, it's COVID-2006. Uh, it's called, it's expired, expired by one. Yeah, do you know what? I think your question though, what you asked as well about what is enough evidence. I mean, you said Alhamdulillah. Right. Alhamdulillah. How are you, Akhi? Do you know what? The truth Good, yeah. is this. Oh. There is no limit to what is enough evidence. Barakallah. Because yeah, you know what? Some of, some of you guys here, you might not have been, you might not have been raised as, uh, as Muslims. You might have converted or... You know, oh, that, okay. But it takes for a person, it's, I, I mean that's a personal question. Say again? You know what I mean? It's a personal question. What would it take for somebody to believe in God? What does it take for somebody to change to a different religion? You can't actually say it's a... You know, it's, 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 what, it's what do you see as evidence? Of course. What makes yeah, so that question is a personal thing. It's not something... No, I, no, Daniel. I, it's not something I can get every single one of you to agree with. A lot, like no, I said, no, the majority no, sorry, of you sorry, sorry, here, sorry, it's not all of you. Okay, so one more second. Yeah. I just want to clarify something, but Daniel, yeah? yeah. Do you know why many people have been... Uh, so, you know, no, no, hold on, no, hold on, I want to finish. Okay, no, no, before, 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 When you don't have correct source of knowledge, yeah. then you'll be confused. Because what is the source of knowledge? If we only restrict source of knowledge observation, it's working, man. Observation, that is a problem. Source of knowledge, either we have to see it, we have to feel it, or we can feel it, or we can use our senses basically, or through information, people pass down information to us, or we can come to a conclusion about something that exists with certainty based upon our intellect, or based upon natural inclination. You see, this is called a source of knowledge. So for example, now, uh, if you restrict source of knowledge observation, there's a lot of things you have to reject, no doubt. And you're gonna put yourself in trouble and you cannot live this life. You cannot live with this philosophical ideology, I have to see something before I come to know that exists or not. Because that is impossible. You understand? There's many things that we know in our history, in our life, for sure that exists. It's not based upon observation. Okay. It's based upon information. For example, if BBC says, tomorrow there's no school. The presenter of BBC, everyone will say there's no tomorrow school. But there's one person saying that. I haven't seen it. Why you take the information? Because it's based upon other indications. You see? Okay, let me add. Let me add yeah. Go on, yeah, let go on. Add. Okay. Yeah. Again, just to clarify, I never made any statement that it has to be seen, you know, that evidence is something that can only be observed. 
So, I mean, if you're giving us a general... No, example, general, 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 no, general. Fine, okay. No, no, general. I didn't say you said it, yeah, by the way, I didn't say it. Okay, for the record, I didn't say it. My, yeah, my, the time that I used earlier, to be, to be specific, was data. Data can come in many forms. It can come in what you see. Again, like you said about, make reference to what you feel, okay? Um, some of that might be in what you believe, because you've got a lot of archaeologists that researched a lot of things in history. Whether, I don't know, it could be uh, the existence of dinosaurs at the end of the day. But yeah, there has to be a certain amount of data, and also there needs to be an input of your belief as well, what you still believe, because there still might not be everything completely. No one's got all the answers. No one has all of the answers anyway. I'm Daniel, yeah. Daniel, Daniel, so you... You mentioned to the Chancellor that like, if he was to bring archaeological proof, which I did, four or five of them. Yeah, I didn't, all, I didn't say how let him, let him, let him. No, not even all much. Yeah. Let, let him finish at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's done his part, he brought it. Yeah. Yeah. What's your criteria now for rejecting it? Because all you said is it's not enough. Yeah. So what's so, your you ne you never been clarified, okay. you never been double checking, okay. or you didn't always have to do it. That's a good question. point, Barak Alafi. That's, that's good. That's good. That's very good. So your question is that he's got the evidence and he's presented that to me. And what is my reasoning or what is my answer as to why I'm rejecting it? The first part of my answer is that you got cameras here. I never rejected what he said. Because I made a statement earlier okay, as well. Solid. When he gave his wait, 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 let, me finish, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Because I know what I. Daniel plays around, Daniel. No, Daniel, he can, Daniel, if you ask him, where is Brixton? He said, you know, there's Nottingham Gate there, and there's Shepherd's Bush no, no, there. No, 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 then, no, you so, Fulham, yeah, the then you go to Fulham. Then from Fulham, you can go. No, I'll bring. Oh, oh, sorry. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. Let me finish. Let me no, no, I'm straight forward. Let Alhamdulillah. Listen, there's all of you versus me. Allow no, me no, all of us. No, no, no. Daniel, stop it, man. Allow me to speak. This is a. You are. You are, you, are, you are our guests, we take care of you. Right. We Muslims then, you are known then, for then, taking care then, of the guests. Then, then let me say my piece. Say your piece, okay, speak, so, take the mic. Yeah, so in, in, in regards to your question, which was, um, what was my reasoning for rejecting it? Just to, again, to reiterate, I never rejected what he said, okay? I didn't reject, nor did I accept. I didn't, I didn't approve or confirm, or nor did I deny. And my question I, said, I, I, I heard him out on what his evidence was, <laughs> okay? And all I said to him was that, Yes, you presented, but it's still not enough for me. Do you understand? And then I, so it's not enough evidence. Okay. Then you ask me what is, what enough, is enough evidence. And I said, that's a good question, because when you're speaking to anybody about what is enough evidence for anything, everybody's going to have a different answer. You can't say I'm not, I'm that about evidence you, doesn't, else, evidence about doesn't have a certain number of what Daniel, must be produced. Daniel, it's what feels right. And I don't feel that that's enough for me okay. to make a decision so to what, say, now, this you, is genuine So what evidence. now? Can you bring further to increase the understanding? I don't know. I think a lot of it's got to do with because we can't just go out there. Yeah, yeah. So it's how come I'm evidence. <laughs> you see, you have to give me some specific. Are you also archaeological evidence? Bring it. So what now? Did you go to um, one mosque in Acton? When? Because uh, a long time ago I went to a mosque in Acton, yeah, and I think it was you that I spoke to on one other day as well. When? And, uh, this is years ago, like I said, remember we spoke about it last time? Yeah. Years ago, so more than, probably about 10 years ago to be honest. Yeah. Okay. No, no, you, 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 there's someone. I think, I've, I've I, I think there's someone like. No, no, I know. Yeah. I know the guy, the brother you're speaking about. Yeah, and it's, it's not him. He's uh, one in acting. I yeah. told you I weren't lying. No, yeah. I said I did this. Yeah, but, but I went to church. Doesn't mean I was Christian. <laughs> so come on, man. So I went to church. Doesn't mean I was Christian. You want to know what, what, what you want us more evidence? Yeah. I just think that, um, you know, what you presented, thank you as well for bringing something. Yeah. You wasted my time, man. No, thank you, no. Forget, thank you. You wasted my time. My, my, my issue with what just happened to me is... It's a mess, man. You never even realise... Like, Chance, what the man told you? Glad, ruin up. Glad, ruin up. No, 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 that's not true. That's not true. I can't stand by that. To say that I never... No, but what I never heard him out on his evidence. No, but what I definitely did, because I asked him questions about the evidence. What did I ask him? Sorry? What did I ask him? Did I ask you questions about what you showed me? You don't ask me the question. What you question was it? Oh, you, you've forgotten as well. No, sorry. When you pulled up what you showed me on the yeah, phone, I was yeah. asking questions about it. What did you ask? Yeah, but what did you ask? What question? You were just telling okay. me. You just okay. said me you didn't okay. get rid of it. I said no. Okay, no, okay. so you said you don't remember. No, no, no. Did anybody remember him asking him questions regarding it? Of course I did. He brought something to me. I didn't just do this and go. No, no, you did have a conversation about. Yeah, but. Yeah, 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 yeah. But he said it's not enough. Thank you very much. 
So the point being, he says it's not archaeological, then I prove it's archaeological. For yeah. me to have a conversation yeah, yeah, he did. about the evidence that he presented, there was obviously a level of interest there. He didn't just present it and oh, I just did this. I hear that. I ain't saying anything. So yeah, but Dan, Dan, mm -mm. sorry, sorry, sorry. Mm -mm, mm -mm. No, but Daniel, yeah, that's not, not a proof, man. Tell the truth. I mean, Daniel, that yeah, doesn't mean you're an honest person because why? Because why, Daniel, yeah? I brought to you the proofs, yeah? Archaeological, yeah? Uh, also from the archaeological proofs. Is that, uh, let me admit, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, from the archaeological yeah. proofs is to go and see the mosque, the temples, the, 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 the tools they use, 